Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. This is today's video. The beer is courtesy of Brian. Thanks so much, Brian. I really appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure this is a new beer, uh, a new brewery for the channel. It's definitely a new beer for the channel. And um, so it's free, <laughs> Freak Folk Beer. Uh, slow down. Cult of Billy, which I'm sure is a reference that I'm not picking up on. Uh, Double IPA, Rotating Experimental Series. Very cool. The artwork, which is rad. Um, that's actually why I chose this beer today. Is uh, by Bryant Eugene Vasquez. Vasquez. Um, and it is, let's see, about a month and a half. Yeah, old at time of review. Uh, the Jester, it says underneath. And uh, today was picture day at my job. And uh, I think we kind of, yeah, the portrait and I look alike. Eh, not really. Okay, well, that's why I didn't change first into a t-shirt like I normally do. Uh, and kept on my work clothes. Ah, let's get into it. Oh, and they're out of Vermont. Um, Waterbury, Vermont. So that's why I'm using the Alchemist glass. I just figured, well, I have a glass from Vermont. I'll use it on this. Definitely got some haze to it. All right. Yeah, more orange than yellow, but definitely both of them are there. Definitely hazy, uh, beyond unfiltered, but not, you know, butternut squash soup necessarily. Not quite there. Um, good amount of head on that. Compact bubbles, a little over a finger. Um, white with that grayish kind of color to it. Bone, egg, whatever color works for you. Looks beautiful. Let's get to it into the nose into that aroma <laughs> i don't know why this this cord never is a problem but apparently it's a problem today i get some nice soft citrus i shouldn't say soft i get some nice well-rounded citrus notes uh orange dominant a little bit of lemon no up the lemon lemon solidly um, so it's like very refreshing that way, citrusy, but it's not only citrus. Peach, skins, flesh, not overly ripe. There's some other fruit notes. I'm just not pulling specific fruits to say. Um, not orchard, more tropical, but not overly tropical either. Like balanced fruit, which I don't know if I've ever said that as a descriptor. It smells really good. It's gonna taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Brian. Hope you're doing well. That is really tasty. You start with the fruitiness, and when that bitterness kicks in, it's a little sharp in a good way. Like it, it commands your attention. You know, it's like, oh, okay, that was just a shift. Yet still a cohesive experience, which is cool. Because that's hard to do, right? Because in one way, you almost feel like the beer is taking a turning uh, point. You know, or like hits a turning point where it's like, and here's the bitterness. And that sounds radically different. Yet it totally makes sense in the sip. Yeah, it's really cool. Very peachy. More peach in the taste. Peach rings. Actual peach. The peach flesh. So peach a few different ways, which is cool. Definitely citrusy. The orange, I'm not gonna say there's no lemon in the taste, but I was a little misled by what I was getting in the aroma. I thought there'd be more lemon in the taste. It is more orange in the taste, zest and orange juice. So you're getting it two ways, which is cool. And like the aroma, there's some other tro or other fruits, leads a little bit tropical, but not overly tropical. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It, it, it has, Moments of generic tropical fruits, but they're not bursting. They're not overly in your face. A little bit more subtle, nuanced, which is cool. Has a good mouthfeel and all that. Now that I've sipped it a few times, that uh, bitterness is even more interwoven and less of that turn that I was talking about but it's still there. Finishes pithy and zesty, which is cool. Very refreshing. Like I was saying, the Roma House, it smelled refreshing. This is a very refreshing beer. It's also one of those ones that is both thirst quenching and thirst inducing, which is always a, a plus in my opinion. Um, this is just a really nicely made beer. This is really quite good. Um, apparently I'm in the cult of Billy myself. 
So thanks again, Brian. I really appreciate it. If you guys had this beer before, have you had anything from this brewery? Uh, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.